Boom, 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 it's your boy Nick Myself. This is the Nick Myself Hour. The all to my YouTube fam, what's good? Y'all see I'm Biggie down right now. You know what I mean? King of New York, King of NY. Set a rep real quick. Well, let me take this shit off. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yo, before we get into the recording, man, uh, let me announce this is episode 120 of the Enigma Sep Hour. I uh, got my man Facey coming through with Taylor B. They just dropped a new video and a new track. So we're going to get with them and see what's up, how they collab, how they got together with all of that. So they'll be here in the halfway mark. Till then, we're back for the new year. So a celebration for that. Yo, before we get into the recording, again, uh, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, then hit that like button, share button, uh, leave comments, all of that so YouTube know that I even exist. So, <laughs> yo, if y'all can do that for me, it'd be much appreciated. Appreciate all the love uh, you guys have been showing me for the past two years. And so in the new year, try to start to get it popping once again. So. Uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the recording. So, let's go. Boom, 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 and we back. This is your boy, Enigma September, and this is the Enigma Sep Hour. What you just heard is my man, M3, with the new track, 19... I mean, 94, just simply 94. I'm going to put the whole 19 on there. <laughs> Man, M3 with 94. And, um, yo, happy, happy New Year. Yes, sir. So if you listen to this, you have made it to at least the fourth day of the year. And uh, we are glad you are here, that you made it. Shouts out to all the podcast people. Shouts out to my YouTube people. So I saw that my Twitter people, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of that. Appreciate y'all. We are here. So congratulate yourself for making it. Thank God. Uh, 2020, of course, was a rough, rough year uh, for everyone. I think that's the understatement. So, um, yeah, man, celebrate the fact that we're here and hopefully um, keep it moving. Uh, actually, um, I before I even start, I usually wait until the end, but I run, I'm going to start with the sad stuff now because it should get hyper uh, later on. Of course, this is episode 120 of the Nick Myself Hour. And uh, today we're going to have my man Facey and the youngin uh, Taylor B on the, on the podcast at the 30-minute mark. Uh, but before I get started, man, I want to dedicate this episode uh, to my grandfather, uh, Roland Randolph Sr. He passed away um, on the 21st of December, 2020. Um, now to keep it all 100% real, he was my mom's stepdad, but he was there pretty much from the beginning. Um, he raised her and, and played as a father uh, to her uh, throughout her life. You know, my mom was in 60 now, so that's, you put in 60 years of work. Um, so, you know, if you all that blood crap, that's my granddaddy, but um, we put him to rest. Uh, finally on the 30th. So to my family, uh, I love you. And um, yeah, man, uh, I'm going to miss them. I'm going to miss them. There's a lot of things that actually I'll probably regret not um, that I want to talk to them about. But I knew the time was coming eventually uh, just because of his age. You know what I'm saying? He was in his 80s. And, you know, right, right time. I mean, you never know for anybody. Clearly 2020 showed us that. But um, I knew the time was close, and um, yeah, that sucks. But on the flip side, he's at rest. He was always putting in work. He was always uh, – he was a mechanic by trade. Uh, he could fix almost any car. Uh, so, you know, for him to finally be able to rest and get his eternal sleep, man, uh, I'm grateful for that. So, my granddaddy Roland, uh, I miss you. Thank you for everything you've done uh, for me and the family. And um, get your sleep, man. Get your sleep. All right. 
On to better news, man. On to better news, because we're going to get sad again. Those on YouTube see it. I don't know if if uh, the podcast can tell the difference, but for Christmas, my baby blessed me again. <laughs> got me the, uh, what is this? I don't even, got me the uh, the soundproofer. Got, <laughs> it's, a, it's a sound soundproofer joint, you know what I mean? So the sound bouncing off a little better. Uh, I wasn't sure how it was going to work. It ain't going to, uh, honestly, you know what I'm saying? I think Fee felt, felt the ways, you know what I'm saying? Because I kind of looked at it and was just like, what is this and how I'm going to use it? Um, and I think she felt like I didn't appreciate it. But I do. I'm using it. And, yeah, hopefully <laughs> it's doing what it's supposed to do. So shout out. Shout out my baby Fee. She always looking out for me. I don't, I don't deserve Fee at all. At all. But I'm thankful. I am utterly thankful. All right, so now this is maybe old. It's going to be old news by the time you guys hear this. Um, I think we're going to have a video, so maybe you can still go check it out. But um, on Sunday, January January 3rd, uh, Freedom Train Radio has the virtual live podcast. So we have Queen Shelby, Queen Candice, myself, you know, Pat, Joseph, and some other guests. Um, I guess I've been, I've seen it past since, <laughs> since by the time you hear this, it would have already happened. So we have, we have gone live on Facebook and on YouTube. So you should be able to check it out, especially on YouTube. You can go check it out on the Freedom Train Radio uh, YouTube page. And uh, yeah, we're going to have different topics. Pretty much it's going through uh, our different um, shows combined in one. Um, and she's a big, really big hoopla. So you guys make sure to check that out. Um, of course, again, if you're listening to the podcast or even watching the video on YouTube, you've missed it live, but the recorded version should be available. So y'all make sure to check that out after you listen to me. <laughs> so anyway, man, we got the Pat. <laughs> Joe, Shelby, Candace. I think her birthday is coming up. I've been listening to the podcast and like, I turn, I turn 40 at the top of the year. <laughs> I'd be listening. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if they think I'd be listening, but I'd be listening, man. Especially the Shelby's world. That's that's first of all, that's my dog. Um hell, speaking of my dog, I don't know if the announcement been made yet. I'm gonna bust it wide open. So Pat, if you hear this, you wanna edit this, <laughs> you better edit it. Cause don't put it out. <laughs> but my man Clifford. Clifford Jackson gonna be on the podcast, man. On the, on the network, we <laughs> celebratory right now, man. It's twenty twenty one. Happy New Year, but man, Clifford, man, he gonna be on here. I know Clifford since like first grade. I don't know this man for over thirty years, easy. Yeah, damn near forty. That's crazy. So, man, yeah, a lot of shit going down. A lot of shit going down. In the paint. Oh, messed up the rule. Um, <laughs> what was the cuss in the first like nine minutes? I was cussing off top. This it was a wrap on that. Anyway, uh, what we got? Speaking of the year 2020, going to the year 21. Um 21. Uh <laughs> um, we got the, the 2020 wrap-ups. Now, I didn't think any of these fools were gonna do it. You know, you get the wrap up from the original uh, skills and then uh, skills with a Z for all you guys that don't understand hip hop terms. And then um, Uncle, Uncle Murder jumped in the fray a couple of years ago. And so they both dropped uh, their wrap up, 2020 wrap up songs. Um, my opinion, because that's what you listen for, right? You listen for me to talk about stuff and. What, how I feel about it, <laughs> I guess. Uh, my opinion is uh, with the Uncle Murder joint, uh, I get it that 2020 was a a busy year, to say the least. But, um, yeah, he was doing too much. 
<laughs> was probably the epitome of 2020. He just basically he did too much, um, especially in, in relation to Skills Virgin. I think like a commercial version was like 16 minutes. Uh, some of the stuff just seemed like he was on repeat, like he was repeating some of the stuff he had said earlier. Uh, I think he broke it down like three beats. I think I think it's three beats. If, definitely two, but I think it was like three different instrumentals. Um, it like he was trying to like cover this topic, cover that topic. He was trying to like compart compartmentalize it, compartmentalize it. Um, now, not say it, it wasn't bad. He did what he normally does. Uh, the mixing, of course, was always and and as always was horrible. But you can tell they just kind of did it and you try to put it out before whatever. <laughs> before the, the first or before the second, whatever the case may be. Um, he covered, I mean, he covered, he tried to cover as much as he could. So, I mean, respect for him for that. But uh, yeah, he was, it was just too much. Like, I, I get 2020 was a lot, but just hit, hit what you got to hit on, keep it moving. Now, with skills, he was the opposite, he kept it. Minimum, he did hit on like a lot of the major points, um, but the beat was so the beat was whack. It was whack. It was barely a beat. But again, kind of go back to the whole minimus thing, where it's like Uncle Murder beat was like it was dope, but it was like too loud and unmixed. Skills joint was wonderfully mixed. He had a visual for it. That was the visual was like the best part of it. I mean. His, Everything just coincided. It was it was very nice, very well produced, but the beat just did not draw your attention for nothing. It was like I said, it wasn't it was a produced beat. It was well produced. It was clean. Everything was clean about skills song, but the beat was just like horrible, bro. But um he did what he had to do. He talked about what he had to talk about. Now, my main takeaways for both songs is they both went with Misinformation. Um, I can't pinpoint what it was exactly. I mean, one of them. That could be be. I could be picky. Maybe I'm being the stand. I don't know. But <laughs> like skills calling out Joe Button for jacking off the dogs. With Joe Button came out and said that wasn't true. It was just jokes. But it was kind of like skills kind of put it out there like it was true after it had been debunked and just like, bro, don't don't do that. Um, they both mentioned about the viruses and people being insecure about the vi- I mean, not the virus, but the uh, vaccine to COVID nineteen, and um, but skills one as bad that bad versus like Uncle Murder was saying like a lot of stuff that was like, bro, relax, <laughs> like <laughs> like don't no don't say that. You know we we don't need that. <laughs> We don't need that information out there. You know what I mean? Uh, I know what it was. Damn, what was it? I think Uncle Murder, he said something about Kamala and um and Biden. Like, and somebody some about mass incarceration. And of course, I mean, if you get into the, the politics, of course, we know Biden um helped pass and construct the 94 crime bill. Um but a lot of stuff put it on Kamala uh, and tie her into the 94 crime bill. It's kind of, it's, 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 it has always been a stretch. So for him to go with that and make it seem like it was facts, I know it's just songs and creative license. I get that. But a lot of people are going to look at, a lot of people look at these songs are, and are going to look at these songs as time capsules. So even with that, you got to be mindful what you put in these songs and how people are going to remember the year, especially a year's um, crazy as 2020 was. So yeah, that kind of just kind of on both ends kind of rubbed me the wrong way. They kind of put out stuff that was like either the bunk or a stretch of the imagination or rumors or whatever. And it's like, I get it. It's songs, but yeah, it's cringy. (laughs) Um, yeah, I didn't want to hear that. But there you go. So feel free to go check out those joints. Um, I think I found the skills joint on skills joint probably on YouTube, I'm sure, because he had a video for it. I think I found a skills joint 
on Double XL. So you go to XX, XXL Mag Mag dot com. Uh, probably find Uncle Murder there too. So anyway, you know, hip hop publications. They probably got a link to those joints if you're interested. <laughs> Yo, um, what else we got? Oh, for the end of the year, uh, the RIAA, which is the Recording Industry of Arts of America or some shit. <laughs> Yo, put out uh, a, a graph, if you will, some of the top albums of the year, top selling albums of the year. And um, there's only 21, fitting, fittingly, fitting. There's only you know, 21 albums and 123 songs uh, that achieve certification. That's crazy. Oh, you got to imagine, there's like probably a million songs that was put out this year. You know, 123 songs released this year were certified. Like, dude, Billboard got 200, top two, you yeah, got top 200. So, I mean, at any given time, there were songs on the Billboard that never received a gold or platinum plaque. Um, the reason I even mentioned it, since it's a hip hop show, <laughs> is uh, Lil Baby, Lil Baby, my turn. Um, was uh, recognized as the top album. Um, I think what they said. And it's the only multi-platinum album to be released this year, at least it's certified. But I guess got gotta be what's your girl? Tyler Swift? I guess hers weren't certified yet. But Lil Baby, um, my turn album was the only one certified multi-platinum. Um, top single was Future Life is Good featuring Drake. Uh, the only platinum pop album was uh, BTS, Map of the Soul Seven. We go, we got we gonna stop sleeping on BTS and <laughs> K-pop. <laughs> like y'all gonna stop sleeping on us for real? We ain't playing with y'all. Uh, platinum albums from last for 2020, which is yeah, technically last year. I'm reading from my phone was BTS, Map of the Soul Seven. Shouts out to my cousin Dominique. Uh, she loves some some K-pop. I don't know. I don't know. If BTS is her favorite group, but I know she loves K-pop. This girl loves K-pop so much she wouldn't learn Japanese on her own. Like <laughs> my cousin's smart. Screw y'all. Uh, so BTS, Future, High of Life, Halsey's Manic, Justin Bieber's Changes, Lil Uzi Vert, Eternal at Take, uh, Polo G, The Goat. I gotta listen to that album. I've heard that album was dope. Now I don't know if it's dope as much as like what's considered dope today, or if it's just like in generally just a dope album. But um, nah, I heard this album was pretty good. Um, you know, I'm tired of all the goat talk. Yo, know, y'all gotta stop. Uh, Sam Hunt, Southside, and Tyler Swift's Folklore. So yeah, now only multi-platinum pop singles was Justin Bieber's Yummy and Intentions featuring Quavo, which still got hip-hop elements. So there you go as far as uh, record sales for 2020. Still a slow year. Um, hell, shit looks slower than um, 2006. Yeah, 2006, boy, I thought the industry was going to be dead. But um, here we are. What else we got? So, yeah. Now, before we get into the uh, next song and then go and get into uh, the guests that we have this this week, uh, a repeat guest at that, man, Facey. You know what I mean? Yo, got to get into some bad, bad news, tragic news. So, um, I don't even know how to get into it, bro. I guess first... Get into uh, who we got first? We got uh, Shabadu, aka Ozone from the movie Breaking, uh, passed away. Um, now, ain't gonna front, maybe y'all want to take away my hip hop card. You can't because it wasn't my fault. Um, I really didn't catch Breaking when I was younger. <laughs> uh, 
Not say I haven't watched it. I'm pretty sure I've watched it, but I didn't. It wasn't in our collection, so I haven't seen it time and time again. But um, so I can't say I'm prevy or you know what I'm saying that verse into um, Shabba Doo's, uh You know, he was a dancer, of course, a breaker. Um, and we got represent hip hop. I'm gonna honor uh, all elements of hip hop. But like I said, I really can't sit here and say that I know a lot about Shabadu, but it is heartbreaking for hip hop to uh, lose um, a member of the family. So rest in peace, condolences to his family. Now, one one of the one of the deaths that did hit me uh, heavy was the next one, and that's uh, Ecstasy of Houdini. Uh, he passed away uh, last week. Um, and for me, it's kind of weird when it comes out to, like, Houdini, because uh, they were probably the second biggest rap group in, like, the mid-'80s behind Run DMC. Um, some people will probably say they were bigger than Run DMC at some point, which I, I would think most people will say that's ridiculous, but uh, or maybe even say it was more innovative because Run DMC was just like really hard uh, with hard breaks and hard beats and hard you know lyrics. And you know you had um, I just watched the interview with Eminem and well, I guess it was Tim Westwood, and but it was saying how like Jam Master J like scratches were just like it's hard as hell, literally like <laughs> uh, everything was just like boom bastic and big with Run DMC. Uh, Houdini on the flip side were like smooth and um, harmonic, if you will. So it's kind of funny because a lot of people figure like, oh, harmony and hip hop is new. Nah. <laughs> nah. Before I started the show, I was just listening to the Biggie uh, and Bone Thugs and Harmony. The boys literally had harmony in their name. Like, no. Having harmony in your, in your lyrics, in your. Um, Rap songs is a new thing, but um, Houdini really had like that. Their songs really had a like an R and B harmony feel. Um, so songs like Friends, uh, Freaks Come Out at Night, uh, Big Mouth, like a lot of those songs were just what today would probably be considered pop. Um, so. I mean, even Nas like sampled one of the joints, and people <laughs> figured that that was Nas' first shot at picking a pop song with uh, what's the song? Um, if I Rule the World, you know what I'm saying? That was a Houdini beat. So, but yeah, man. But I just remember like growing up, especially like Freaks Come Out at Night and Friends. Like I, I wasn't into rap. I couldn't even tell you if I knew that rap was. It's his own thing. Like, I didn't even know that music had, like, genres. You know what I mean? Music, at that point, at that age, was just music. But I do remember those songs more. Probably, if it wasn't my Uncle Marty, definitely my Uncle Junior, who uh, is the eldest son of my granddaddy Roland, his namesake. Yo, like, I know they played those songs. Like, I remember... Like being in my Uncle Junior car, that he would have a system, like a bop too. Um, and definitely playing those songs and just, you know, hearing that sound. Again, I can't, it wasn't a situation of, ooh, that's rap or this is hip hop or I didn't know that. It was just music. But I remember those songs. So, uh, yeah, man. So rest in peace. Again, condolences to uh, the family and friends of. Uh, John Fletcher, a.k.a. Ecstasy, of Houdini. And we thought we was done. We thought 2020 was done and, and was going to stop playing with us. But nope, 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 nope. 2020, uh, but actually 2020 didn't go out with a bang. Actually, apparently, <laughs> we went out with a bang, but um, it was the news. So it was announced at the end of 2020, on the 31st, that the truly enigmatic 
rapper uh, MF Doom uh, passed away. Now, the reason why I'm kind of confused about saying 2020 went out with a bang with this news is that it was announced on December 31st, but then it was later found out or it was told in the announcement that MF Doom actually passed away on October 31st. Um, which is fitting because MF Doom, of course, was known for wearing a mask. So it would be fitting that a mask rapper would pass away on Halloween. Um, and a lot of people were kind of upset that they would announce his death uh, two months, literally two months later. But um, to me, just from what I know, <laughs> or what I've observed from MF Doom, it was fitting. Like he will, <laughs> he will want to like pass away and then like wait two years later, wait till the end of the year. So it's the last piece of news you get before going into the new year is his death and then realizing it was whole two years that you thought he was alive and well and had no idea and really is a testament of fandom. I think that would be the message um, that as much as you believe that, you know, you love these people and as influential as they've been. MF Doom has been influ influential to a lot of people. A lot of people. Um, unfortunately, I can't say that I was the biggest uh, MF Doom fan. Uh, I respected his music. I respected his craft. Um, can't have him bought an album. Um, I may have listened to an album, like maybe Mad Villily. Uh, just because I know that it's recognized as a classic and I just want to be versed in um, that album. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I listened to it. But probably like once. Uh, but on the flip side, like I couldn't or uh, wouldn't diss MF Doom. I wouldn't say like he was whack. He definitely isn't whack, like at all. Like even he's a genius. He's a lot of people's favorite rapper. He's probably your rapper's favorite rapper. Uh, definitely your favorite underground rapper, favorite rapper. Uh, shouts out to Big Low, uh, which unfortunately, my man's, I had that idea of calling him Big Low, but um, I'm already kind of behind time. But um, I know Low said that basically all his favorite rappers are dead. He had Sean P, uh, Nipsey Hussle, and now MF Doom. If you listen to, I try to tell Fee, I try to put Fee on. You know what I'm saying? The MF Doom. And probably, I was like, if you listen to Big Low or um, I got somebody else in my head. I got somebody else's name in my head. I'm trying to think of my boy's name. Jeez. Artist and P. You listen to Artist and P. Listen to Big Low. That essentially they're, they're descendants of MF Doom and his style or whatever. Uh, MF Doom actually came up on the scene, I think in the early 90s, if not like at like 1990, he was in the Gas Face vi video. I guess he was on the song. Forget the video. <laughs> he was on the song with um, the Cat this album. <laughs> I can't think of these guys' name. What in the world? I know the album. The Cat is album. No, I don't want to say three times though. What's the name of this freaking group? No, what? <laughs> Yo, he is horrible. That's why you gotta write this stuff down. I'm gonna put in the Cactus album. You guys probably think I know the Cactus album because of Eminem. Screw you guys. You know, third base, golly. You know, Eminem did say that they inf that third base did uh, influence him. With <clears throat> Excuse me, that Tim Westwood. Video, uh, interview. So anyway, he's part of a group called PMD uh, with his brother. They were supposed to drop an album um, on Electra Records, but it got dropped because of the album cover. We had like a sambo uh, on a on a noose. Um, so he disappeared from the scene for a couple of years. That was around like ninety four. Came back around 97 as MF Doom um, and just had a cult following from there. Um, like I said, he dropped the album Mad, Mad Villainly with um, Mad, was it Mad Lip? 
Is it Mad Lib? I think it was Mad Lib. Y'all forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, but they dropped an album, I think that was 04, 05. Because he dropped Um Food in 04, I think. Um, but that album recognized the classic. And um, yeah, now it was also some controversies where it was um, found out that he did some shows where he didn't show up. It was just somebody else in his mask performing the songs. Uh, it was just crazy stuff like that. But uh, regardless, he was revered as one of the greatest rappers of all time. Um, and no shade, no shade that I'm wearing this Biggie shirt right now. Uh, do recognize again? Recognize? Uh, I recognize. <laughs> Yo, E, get it together. I recognize MF Doom with all the letters capitalized as one of the greatest of all time. Changed the game. And his spirit will live on through his music. So condolences to his family and his friends. Yo, let me get up out of here. I'm tripping and my guests are waiting. So we're going to be right back for the hit y'all with something that is totally not MF Doom. Like, <laughs> it's totally not MF Doom. Like, my man, Nicola Rollins featuring Fuego Deluxe with Spike Lee. This is the Enigma Self Hour. You got time, baby. Boom, 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 and we back. This is your boy, Nick Masep Timber, and this is the Enigma Masep Hour. What you just heard was Dakota, you're going to kick my ass, Dakota Rollins with Spike Lee featuring Fuego Deluxe. And if you guys are watching, we have the two sexiest rappers in Tallahassee right now. And I say that with the most secure manhood ever. My man, I got my girl, the baby girl at that. Uh, oh, no. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler the beat, dum, 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 dum. What? <laughs> I've been playing it all night. <laughs> I was gonna sing it. Oh, uh, but yeah, we got Tyler the beat and Facey, man. What's up with y'all, man? Nothing Yo. much, man. Trying to survive. Nothing, nothing at all. Big board at the house chilling. No doubt, no doubt. Glad to have you guys on. Now, uh, it was nothing, nothing. Good thing is I have to worry about uh, my mom crashing the set like she did the last time we had Facey on here. See, Facey be getting everybody mama's on and what it is. <laughs> I like right. the unexpected surprises. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was wild. Like, I was trying to get my mom to come in early. Pause. Hey, yo. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, she was, like, running late, coming in from Orlando. And so, yeah, it was, like, in the middle of the... the Wasn't that her birthday or something? Was, like, come... Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Had to be... Was that, was that 28? No, it could have been 2018. That was 2019. I, I don't know, man. My I don't time know, is... Be... Yeah. I'm trying to think. Fee, Fee wasn't living with me yet. So... No, okay, I'm tripping. That was 2019. Yeah, I got engaged and married and everything since then. So, <laughs> y'all see. It. Bitches see it. Ooh, okay. I'm married now. Yeah. Married. <laughs> anyway, speaking of married, um, you guys came out with a track that is important in every relationship, whether it's just beginning or been solidified with uh, Communicate. So... Shouts out, shouts out to the song and shouts out to the visuals. You know what I mean? Uh, my first question, of course, uh, let me get to the visuals. Uh, Taylor, who did your makeup, Shouty? Because you was you was looking great with the her name I was is like, hey yo. Dog by dime on Instagram. Dog by dime. She's okay. a fantastic makeup artist from Jacksonville. She does work here in Tally and Jax. She'll travel to you for a little fee. She's awesome. Yeah, I bet that up. Like, that was kind of, like, when I saw the visuals, that would threw me off. I was just like, it's kind of one of them things where you, I knew it was you, but you didn't look like yourself. I barely wear makeup. But not like in the, yeah. So I was just like, looking like, oh, snap. Like, who did this? Because it, it works, but it still was like, uh, what's the word? Yeah, it kind of threw me off. Like, oh shit! <laughs> it was an amazing surprise. 
Oh. Yeah, so she did that. Yeah. I was sitting on my business the whole time. God damn it. Away from the wall. What's your mm, We fancy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um also too, y'all what I thought was funny. And um those in YouTube land, the video is available on YouTube. So just look up communicate uh, with Facey and Taylor B. Indeed. Yo, the end the, the ending of the video, right? Yeah. Yo, like why well, I had a similar story, bro. What to 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 that? You was waking yeah. outside? Yo, I was dying. Oh dog. no, what happened? I got a hit. No. But I was I was I was I was in if in real life I was I was Taylor where I was the one that had somebody coming in my crib with the other chick pulling up. Oh, <laughs> That's the sticky situation. Like what happened? It was great. Yeah, so it was my birthday, right? Mm -hmm. And uh shorty I was talking to, but like uh, she didn't even like hit me up like none that weekend. So, you know what I'm saying? I went out and I met this other shorty, and we were just hitting it off, you know what I'm saying, getting to know each other. So she came through the crib. So we chopping it up, watching movies and nothing. They ain't really had no expectations, weren't really thinking we were gonna do anything. And so uh but it got late. So she was like, yo, you know, I don't want to go home or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just go to Walmart, buy me some panties or some shit and say the night. So I'm like, all right, yeah, cool, whatever. So we went to Walmart. She went, bought some stuff, whatever, whatever. So while we coming back, the other shorty who I was like talking to at the time started blowing my phone up. So I'm trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Take it, to go, go to voicemail, go to voicemail. <laughs> but like, shortly after, like saw an old girl picture on my phone. So she was like, yo, she kind of cute. You need to answer that phone. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. So I answered the phone. I'm like, yo, like, what's up? She's like, yo, I'm coming to your crib. I'm like, nah, you don't need to do that right mm. now. She's like, no, I'll give you something. I'm like, I need to wait till Monday. You, nah, you don't need to come to my crib right now. Who's heading back to my apartment? Mm -hmm. So lo and behold, get back to the apartment, shorty though. I just gave my house keys to the chick I was with. Like, yo, man, it's going to the house. So, why? <laughs> why old girl going to the house? The chick I was talking to pull up, like, oh, this what we doing? This what's happening? I'm like, look, man, I told your ass to come over here. Yo, you brought your ass over here. Yeah, yeah. Was so she was like, I thought she had brought me a watch. It was a nice ass watch, too. I, I wish I would have got the watch at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. See, that's why you can't be bringing and buying niggas gifts and popping up on niggas and shit because you see what happened? That. Don't do it. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to do pop ups in general. Like, you can't just be randomly popping up at people's shit. True. If they tell you not to, I told, I don't I they tell you not to. <laughs> All right, do not come here. Came yeah, in. She came over there for that heartache. Hey, you gave her a warning. You right. did. You did. But it's all good now. That was that was in the past. I'm a married man, so right. Oh well. Show us the ring one more time. Mm, Y'all yeah, see this. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, regardless though, um, so with the song, man, how did you guys link up, you know what I'm saying, to come up with the track and what was the science behind it? Like how did y'all come up with the concept of the project other other song rather? Uh well, I was talking to Skinny, um, uh, Big Skinny the producer, uh, one day and I told him I was just just fucking off. I just be saying shit. I, it ain't even had no meaning behind it when I said that. I was just like, hey, I need you to be making it uh, a 21 question sample. Uh, I need a beat mm. with that sample in it. He was like, all right. That's the end of that conversation. <laughs> Some weeks go by and he called me. Uh, not even. I don't think he called me. I think he just sent it to me. Just drop that bitch in my email. And. Right. I heard it and I was like, oh shit, this is dope. I forgot I had even asked him to do the shit. Like I said, I just be, sometimes I just be talking. But, 
but he did. I wrote to it. That's it. And uh, I, I didn't want, I wanted a feature for it. I didn't want to write to the whole damn thing because I got tired of hearing myself. I got tired of hearing my voice. So I wanted a, a female per perspective on it. And I already kind of had a vision for it. Like, a, 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 I just seen, seen a story in my head while I was writing it to it. So I hit Taylor up. She came through and I, I believe she finished her verse that, that same day. Like, yeah. And we recorded it that same day. Oh, shit. Yeah, we did. Right, so yeah. Damn, we did. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's dope. Now, Taylor, you first of all, you always an album or something, so you've been kind of like blazing shit for like the past two years, probably three. It's, it's been just, three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> since it's been if y'all don't know, she's. What was it? It set the internet ablaze with like a few freestyles or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I know for me, I've been patiently waiting for a project. That's why I was eager to have both of you guys on here with this joint. I'm like, yo, been waiting. Like, what's good? So I mean, what <laughs> is, is this gonna spark uh, 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 some new shit? Or maybe even a, 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 a collaboration between you guys? Like, what's good? We definitely have more stuff. In the works, that's for sure. Yeah, so, we, got some, we got some other tracks. <laughs> that's that's the well, I'm waiting. <laughs> and, and unlike other guests, that I am I ain't gonna sit here and be like, Y'all niggas put me on because um, I'm old and fat right now, so and I'm not as sexy as y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shut up. Uh, <laughs> sexy niggas don't die, okay. Dude, Chachi done, done, done put them uh, pics of uh, a Taylor up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Shout out to a big, big skinny as well. Skinny. Yes, sir. Sure. And Ari and goddamn Nove and S and goddamn JG. Goddamn. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If I, if I, could, if I could have Taylor's ass and, and face his tongue. What? Um, <laughs> Oh, I hit. Hey, where you going with this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> if I could, if I could do that, I'd be a whole ho. I'd be having everybody after like, mm. be eating, <laughs> eating pussy all day, every day. Y'all don't even. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Hold up. You, you married? You're not eating pussy every day? Nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, what is it? Oh, the video. The video, the video. How, how did the video come about? And how was that, like, shooting the video? Huh. <laughs> All right, so the video came about. Well, you, wanna, you want me to sit, talk or you want to talk, Taylor? I mean, um, <laughs> the video was okay so the song was done in like this mass studio session thing like a whole bunch of different artists from tally came together and were recording songs and um the guy stacks who was mostly you know over that when he heard the finished product he was like okay you know i see a video for this immediately you know what i'm saying i got the vision and we were just like, okay, you know, so we sat down and he explained what he felt was, you know, a, a good vision and we put our input in or whatever. And, you know, that's pretty much how that came to be. You know, we picked locations and got outfits together and all everything we needed. And we went out there and we did it. <laughs> and yeah, Facey ran by the mile that day. <laughs> that ain't, and it ain't, it ain't, <laughs> oh yeah, um, okay. <laughs> we had fun, it was fun though, and um, you know, glad that we have the finished product for everybody. Word, word. And I can tell it was fun, that's why, again, like, I was pretty hyped to have you guys on here because, like, the, the song and individuals, 
Like, I could tell you guys were having fun. It was just, like, a lot of energy. And that shit needed, you know what I'm saying? Especially um, after last year and coming in this year, like, to really start this year off, you know what I'm saying, with the energy you guys are bringing, like, it's needed, you know what I mean? So um, just want to congratulate you guys for uh, following through, putting the project together um, as far as not just like, the song, but also the video, uh, Big Up the Stacks, a.k.a. Benji, you know what I mean? Man's putting his vision behind that and, and doing that. He's been doing dope shit, you know what I'm saying? I know with um, uh, just for the past couple of years, a few years too. So I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really... You know what I'm saying? Thank Again, you. I know I'm an old ass, but I know how it is, you know what I'm saying, when I was younger trying to come up and do shit, so to see y'all doing y'all thing or whatever and the energy and the expertise, cause both of y'all fire as shit, you know what I'm saying, as far as just like the bars, so that's not even the question, so to see y'all be able to like spit, put real put concepts together and, and put like videos together and have the energy behind it, like that shit is like extra fucking dope. You know, proud of man, y'all. That shit was so, light, man. We got more bars. <laughs> As light work. I'm, I'm ready for more. I am ready for more. So and I there will be more. You guys. You want to go ahead, man, and give these people a little taste. Not a little taste, but a whole taste of uh, what y'all got. So I'm going to get, this is uh, Facey featuring Taylor B with Communicate. Yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all with a uh, a throwback. Let me start with this mic. Hit y'all with a throwback with Facey's drip, and then we're gonna come right back. This is the myself hour. You got time, baby. Boom, 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 and we back. This is your boy Nick Masep Timber, and this is the Nick Masep hour. And again, what you just heard was Facey featuring Taylor B with communicate, and then Facey with drip. Um, yeah, man. Again, proud of y'all. With the uh the song or whatever, hopefully people will understand that you have to communicate, uh, in relationships and things of that sort. Uh, I guess also too before I become a rumor, even though I I think I pretty pretty much on the answer. I'm just trying to throw some spice in here. You guys aren't in a relationship. Is that true? No, you're not. You're not okay. Just want to clear it up, just in case the question arises. Facey, Facey <laughs> is single, ladies. Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm bit single. Bit single. Look here. He's a Lady. flirt, though. So be careful. Bit nah, flirt. Y'all better rest my dog. Go get what you came for. <laughs> yo, speak it up. Yo. What's up? And again, trust me, if I... I'm, I'm watching now, so I can't I can't do shit. But uh, so face you can do all the shit I can't do, cause I'm I'm done. <laughs> but oh, uh, on, man, I be chilling. I have no horse. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Tell me, nigga. <laughs> I wasn't I was, I was even trying. I was a whole whole out here. I let people know I was. It was devastating. <laughs> Now, let me stop. Honestly, I ain't get to my whole shit until I was in my 30s. That's what's crazy. I was a saint when I was 30. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. That's yeah, prime thinking, point. Yeah, y'all thinking like, oh, I'm, this is the problem of my life. No. <laughs> Wait till your 30s. <laughs> you ain't married by then? Yeah. Shit opened up. Ah, you be like, oh. Hey, sick. I'm almost there, so. <sighs> yeah, you got time. You got <laughs> all the time in the world. First of all, don't rush it. Don't rush it. Well, you about you twenty six, right? I'm twenty five. Twenty five? Yeah. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Stay, stay. If you in your twenties, stay in your twenties. Don't, don't do the countdown. Don't sit there. Oh, I'm almost thirty. No. I don't want to. Like this is the age that I'm gonna stay for like three more years. So right. just to let y'all know ahead of time, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to lie. Because <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it, like, like I said, a lot of stuff. I probably wanted to do in my twenties, didn't even pop off until I turned thirty or after my thirties. And I remember, like twenty eight, I started like slowing up with the whole like rapping thing. I'm like, I don't want to be thirty years old rapping. But a lot of stuff I did rapping, like even coming up with my own projects, like performing for like care, uh, opening up for Kara's one, like Yin Yang Twins, all that shit happened like in my thirties. 
had I like literally quit at thirty, like none of that would have happened. So, yeah, I was like, don't discount the twenties and think, oh, you know, like no, thirty ain't old. Hey, forty ain't old. Fuck that. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still got a lot. Fuck that. Um, but uh, but yeah, just enjoy the time. Don't don't rush it or whatever. Uh, cause trust me, like life will continue to open up for you. Life will continue to bring opportunities to you. So just continue to do what you're doing. Especially both both of y'all are doing. Uh, both of y'all. I said this. Both of y'all got talent and the potential to be like fucking great. You know what I'm saying? Um, now I know it's kind of like sound kind of weird because it's not like I up every day or whatever, whatever. But I I see. Any activities that y'all be doing as far as like, like I said, Taylor putting out the freestyles or, uh, you know what I'm saying, seeing you perform, uh, Facey, things of that sort. Like, I see what y'all doing musically. I see the talent. So all y'all got to do is just continue to grind. It's going to come to you. You know what I'm saying? Even if it comes later. So all y'all got to do is just continue pushing and keep doing what y'all doing. The talent is there. So, and I'm, I'm going in uh, it. Do that, bro. This is the time. This is absolutely time to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, like I said, I'm 40 years old. I'm trying to, I, I, I got plans, you know what I'm saying, to open shit up. You know what I'm saying? So um, shit don't change with age. No matter if you're 25 or 35 or 45, shit don't change. Just do what you got to do. Um, speaking of, what did you say, you know what I'm saying, you got shit popping, getting ready to get shit popping. What, what plans can people expect from y'all? Uh, what things can people get expect from y'all uh, going into this 2020, 2021? You want to go first, Taylor? <laughs> sure. Um, again, you can't expect more collaboration with Facey. I got a few features um, outside of Face though, that should be dropping sometime this year. Um, I do want to drop a couple singles. No project yet. Okay. Um, but you know, soon come, got to get some traction or whatever, got to get people interested. But, um, you know, maybe a couple photo shoots, you know, I'm just chilling, just trying to get some traction. I ain't trying to do too much because I really can't do too much right now. So that's what you can expect from me, you know. Word, word. So for me, I got a project dropping this year uh, later in the spring. It's called Replay Value. It's fire. It's my first project in uh, like three years or some some crazy number. <laughs> but yeah, but pretty much, I went through like a I did a I did a rebrand, so I stopped dropping music, man. Um, I made sure that all my beats are original now. You know, got real linked in with Dose. Um, and we cooked up this whole project together, man. And we about to drop it on y'all heads this year and really about to start um, unleashing shit for that around around the beginning of spring, so like March. Y'all heard that? He didn't say releasing. He said unleashing. Yeah. Isn't that what you said? Unleash. Yeah, yeah. Nah, no, re no release date yet. Mm -mm. No release date. Yeah, let me say that now. Ain't no release date yet. <laughs> <laughs> We, I got a time frame, though. Expected in the summer. All right, bet that up, bet that up. Well, again, man, like I said, I'm, I'm super hyped to have you guys on this joint. Uh, first episode of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue to push that. So, anybody out there, uh, again, the single is Communicate. Uh, facing is F A C E Y, uh, featuring Taylor's T A Y T A R B E E. Um, so yeah, I make sure to go and check that out. Also, too, yeah, before we get up out of here, man, get, up, get the people um, in contact, even though it's gonna be down below on the video or in the description of the podcast. Go ahead and get the people your uh, your contact info so they can get at you. Uh, you can follow me on all social media networks at Facey, like a face with a Y at the end and put three underscores after it and his pretty face will pop up looking just like this. 
Yeah. On Instagram, Twitter, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all that good shit. And just go to your streaming platforms, type in Taylor B. Look look for my music first. Then follow me on Instagram at underscore stream cheese head. Do not follow me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yo, so speaking of a snitch, I was like, y'all was like tweeting at the same time last night. I'm like, what the fuck is they doing? Like, what? It was like weird. Yeah, y'all shit was like back to back on my timeline like this. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I know I'm supposed to be asleep. But I want to. I need to get up early and do this podcast shit. I just be talking shit, man. Sorry. Yeah, it was like the most random shit. It was weird because y'all, y'all shit was just like. Boop, 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 boop. I'm like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on? Like what? Are, like what the hell they got going on? Like I'm like sitting there in the bed with one eye. Like, I I guess this is what it is. Can't believe fuck out. Oh, Clemson got the Oh, anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. This is what we got. Uh, episode two one two. I said that wrong. Episode one two one. Golly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll know. I don't like my guests, so I'm not gonna announce my guests. But if it falls through, it should be a dope episode. Um, so yeah, I know I gave you guys a stream of episodes of just me. Hopefully that won't happen much this year. It is what it is. So, boom, start off with a bang. So, uh, to to t- t- Tyler, keep saying it. I know I'll forget your name, baby. Uh, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. God damn. Oh, uh, Taylor B, my man, Facey, yo, again, I appreciate you guys for uh, spending time doing this or whatever. So, hope nothing but success and uh, blessings for you guys throughout the year uh, and moving Thank forward. You. Uh, again, everyone listening to the podcast or watching the, the video on YouTube, I appreciate you guys. Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, um, listen to the podcast, make sure to uh, subscribe wherever you listen to the podcast, or you can hit the download button. Um, and also, too, follow me on all social medias, hit me up, let me know that you're listening, and um, I'll respond back because, uh, yeah, besides my lovely wife and my lovely daughter. And my lovely dog, Kobe, who's been quiet this whole time. Uh, <laughs> I really got much to do. PlayStation. <laughs> and I got 2K. So I'm coming for you niggas. Uh-oh. Mm. <laughs> Let me stop. I have a lake of work. My ass beats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to get up out of here, man. This is the Enigma Self Hour. You got time, baby. Yay!